Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Maddie Stream, and today is July the 22nd. July the 22nd, and I'm going to do your spiritual principle day in a meditation for July 22nd. I hope you're doing well this morning. I'm a bit rough around the edges, a bit rough. I'm not going to lie to you, a bit rough around the edges, but my spirit is amazing. I feel my spirit is great and will get me through the day. All right. The title, (laughs) Extending a Thoughtful Welcome. Oh, this should be good. Let's see what it says. It may be helpful to remember what made us feel welcome and what made us feel uneasy or alienated when we first came to meetings. That's from Guiding Principles, Tradition 1. Four groups. We often reaffirm that the newcomer is the most important person at any meeting because we can only keep what we have by giving it away. Reading the words is fairly simple. Putting them into action can be a little trickier at times. One member wrote, my compassion for others, especially newcomers, is a huge indicator of my progress in recovery. In our groups, that compassion shows in the actions we take to consider the newcomer's needs. By keeping our focus on the still suffering added, we also keep our common welfare first. The questions implied by the quotation above are a great place to start. When we discuss what it means to feel welcome, We are often pleasantly reminded that our group is doing many of those things well already. Much of it is hardwired into our group. Excuse me. Much of it is hardwired into our NA culture. One member shared memories of being a newcomer. Before the meeting, I was approached and welcomed by someone. And I was a little skeptical of the warmth. Soon someone else welcomed me. And they did the same thing, did the same with other addicts entering the room. I saw a pattern here of how they embraced people. And I felt like I was in the right place. I didn't feel like an undesirable the way I did most of my life. Plenty of us feel uneasy or alienated in the beginning. Helping new members resist the impulse to bolt out the door or go pick up takes some thoughtfulness on the part of NA groups and members. Although we can't eliminate every possible excuse a newcomer might use to leave, We can consider our actions and our group's atmosphere recovery through the newcomer's eyes. Some thoughtful reflection helps us identify what made us feel welcome and how we might do the same for others. The simplest gesture can have the most power. I will practice thoughtfulness to make sure the newcomer is always welcomed. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today, please, and thank you. Okay. Let's think about it. Let's sit here and take a moment and think about it. Um, My first meeting. My first meeting that I actually had admitted that I was an addict, not, not the ones that were open and that I attended because of someone else, right? Someone getting their cleaning time or something like that. Um, 
the first meeting I made, I, I don't remember a lot of people hugging me, right? I don't remember that. But I do remember being welcomed. And I do remember feeling like the majority of the people there reminded me of other people I knew from my hometown that were in recovery. And so because I had some exposure, and give you some backdrop, I had family members that were in recovery and I would hang out with them at events and I would hang out with them at softball tournaments. Uh, so I was familiar with the people in the rooms, right? Uh, occasional open meeting for one of their celebrations. I can remember coming, showing up with cakes for some of their celebrations. They had, to me, they had a significant amount of clean time by the time I actually surrendered. Uh, so I, I knew the ropes, but when I decided to surrender, right, and become a member, the first meetings that I made were out of town. They were in, in my new town. And I was a, you know, a newlywed in many senses that had been very abusive as far as my demeanor, the way I behaved in the marriage, um, a lot of secrets. So when I finally got to the point where I could not stand life anymore, I felt like I knew what I needed to do. So my first, first group that I attended, not the not the meeting that I attended when I first got clean, not that one, right? That was a world convention and that was just massive. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about outside of events, the place that I would eventually make my home group, right? Eventually, that place, when I attended that meeting for the first time, I saw people that reminded me of everyone else I knew from my hometown. And that alone, that similarity alone was very comforting. What was your first meeting like? Do you remember it? Do you remember what mm, seemed okay and what didn't seem okay? There were many things I learned eventually that were not okay, but I, I didn't have enough information to, to know why that didn't set right with me when someone spoke a certain way or hugged a certain way. I, I didn't understand. But today I do. And today when I'm in uh, all person, uh, in-person meeting, that's so crazy to me to even have to say because all meetings were in person. But now we di differentiate, right? So I'm mindful. I extend thoughtful welcomes. And I don't extend welcomes to everyone because the meeting has to start. And we usually have someone that is a part of the welcoming. I don't want to say crew, but they're part of the groups welcome to newer members right so i don't i don't go out of my way to welcome everyone however i try to make my engagement within the meeting conducive to the spirit of recovery the atmosphere of recovery And if it's particularly full of people surrendering, I just, if I'm there and I really have something I need to share, I may alter it or not share at all. Because usually in those meetings, those meetings are first step meetings, usually. And then I just make make it up in my mind that I'll get on a Zoom meeting or I'll get one of my girls to talk to and meet up with and have coffee, right? Or call my sponsor if it's that serious. 
I try to be mindful. And that's all this is talking about. Is just being mindful of the newcomer and try to be thoughtful in our welcomes. That's all this is talking about. And so this is good for me today to read because I'm on my way to a meeting in less than two hours. And I'm going to try and practice what I've just read here. I want to see if my welcoming skills are still there. Okay. The meeting I'm about to go to has, uh, if I had to count 50 people, it's, it's, there's about 50 people that are in that meeting. I would say easily, easily 95% all male. So today, I'm going to intentionally reach out to the few females that show up and just greet them, reintroduce myself to some, and ask. I'm going to reach out to two. I'm sharing this with you because it's important to me when I think about when I first came. This meditation isn't like, oh, wow, that's power powerful, right? But it causes me to be thoughtful. And so I want to share with you how I process the meditations. And then I can report to you later and let you know how it goes. But I'm going to reach out. There's going to be very few females. One, I'm going to go early enough so that I can greet a couple of them so two at least two and I will the two that I have in mind don't I've never introduced myself to them and they don't know me so I'm going to introduce myself to them and find out their names because they never share and then I'm going to ask them one question so how is recovery going for you? You doing good today? That's it. And however long they talk, I'm going to nod my head and listen intently. And if they don't talk, I will say it was good to meet you. If they ask for my number, I will give it to them. Right? Or better yet, I might ask for their number, but usually that's not... With, with people that have been around a while, I think that might be okay, but I'm not really sure. I'll I'll fill out the situation and decide. So now it's your turn. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do with this July 22nd spiritual principle a day in a meditation? The simplest gesture can have the most power. So today, I hope that you will practice thoughtfulness to make sure the newcomer is always welcomed. That's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. Someone did it for you. We have to give back what was freely given to us. Give back freely what was given to us, okay? And if it was something given to us freely, that was <laughs> not something that a normal person would want. Let's not get past that on, right? <laughs> Let's pass on the beauty. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you soon.